There's an old saying in life. You were born free and then you were taxed to death. Well, I don't know much about that. But on this day, an unfortunate event led to a rather undesirable outcome. The how-to guy had died. What? I died? That's right, you've crossed over to the other side. Well, how the hell did this happen? Well, it's a funny story, a lethal spider bite. A very rare event, actually. Um... No! Hey, wake up! Come on! Listen, he can't hear you. Hey! Don't bother. Come on, wake up! I can't die now. I know, it's a hard pill to swallow. I have too much I need to accomplish, though. Listen, we all know you hit your peak. Just accept it and move on. Oh, you are such an asshole. And another thing, I took the liberty of listing your Sony camera on eBay for a good price. What? Don't sell my... $600 cash only. Are you kidding? $600? That thing's worth $1,000 at least. Yes, well, unfortunately, we all need to cut our losses at this time. It's been nice working with you, how-to guy. Okay, so in DaVinci Resolve, I've got one clip in my timeline, which is basically me appearing to be dead and then waking up and that's only one clip well how the hell did this happen what we need to do is actually just find the point in the clip where i start to wake up and we're going to cut it there so we're going to go a little bit further back and go Control b on our keyboard and now we have two clips one of the apparent dead guy and one of the guy waking up as a ghost so what we can do now is drag the ghost clip to the top timeline and then i'm going to choose that bottom clip and press tab to copy it. So all I'm doing is pressing tab and dragging it on. And over there, I'm just selecting all of them so I can just do this quicker. The reason I'm duplicating this layer is just because it creates a loop in the background. So the guy that appears dead will just be dead the entire timeline. So what we can do next is actually we need to select the top layer and the one showing through on the bottom and select all of them, right click and go new fusion clip. Then I'm simply gonna go to the fusion tab at the bottom and get started. Now press one on your keyboard and you'll see that's the dead guy. So we're gonna click the media in one, press F2 and rename it to dead. Then we're gonna know that the second clip is the ghost. So we'll just press F2 and rename that to ghost and click okay. Now we want the dead guy to be on the yellow connector, which is the background, cause we want the background to show through. The ghost will be on the top layer, which is the green arrow. So in order to do this, we need to mask out the ghost so that it shows the yellow layer below it. And what we can do is actually bring our timeline right to the beginning at the top left there. And I'm gonna drag on a polygon. So just drag the polygon on. You don't have to actually connect it up now. Just select the polygon. And now I'm gonna start drawing around my face in this direction. This is where I'm gonna mask out the dead guy to come through over the background. And I'm going to the left hand side. This reveals the layer below it when we actually connect it up. Now we can right click that little gray box and drop it in the middle of the merge node and choose effect mask. Now click that polygon again and go and click invert in your inspector window. This is starting to come together. We can see a guy coming through in the background on the layer showing through in the background. So let me show you how this works. If I click the merge node and I go to the inspector window, there's a blend option. Dragging that down will change the opacity and it'll appear like there's a ghost appearing on your scene. Now I'm not gonna leave it too low at the moment. We can change that later. The next thing we need to do is click the polygon because we need to start keyframing the different areas. So go to about 100 in your timeline and start selecting groups and moving all those little points around so that as you move, it actually starts revealing the guy in the background but I'm basically just moving the timeline forward to about 160 there, and I'm moving it around so it actually matches the front ghost area. It's always best to jump ahead in your timeline about 50 frames because DaVinci Resolve will actually keyframe the rest, so don't do this frame by frame. But I'm, so I'm just moving them in groups to reveal the actual guy below, and as you stand up, it'll start looking really natural. So I'm just speeding this process up, but I've moved all the timeline forward, and eventually, at some stage, you're gonna be able to select quite a few, a huge bunch, and just move them out the way. Now, the more accurate you do this, the better it'll look, but it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Okay, now select all the points, and you'll see that it'll reveal the dead guy, and the ghost will be standing on the right-hand side. Now click the Merge node, and just play with your blend options until you're happy with how your ghost looks. 
Now there's a couple more things we can do to make this look more realistic. And one of them would be perhaps you want a really black and white ghost. You can click the merge node, go to the apply and go right to the bottom and luminosity. Select that and your ghost will kind of be black and white, which is a kind of a cool effect. I have too much I need to accomplish though. We still see that there's a little bit of a box around the polygon. So select the polygon and just add a bit of a soft edge. That'll get rid of it. It's been nice working with you, how to guy. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and see you again next time.